Vampire Survivor, released October of 2022. Retailing for $4.99. Available on smartphones, Mac and PC, and Xbox platforms. But I think it will likely come to other platforms shortly. This is a top-down game with elements from shooters and roguelike games. You select a character, starting with only one, but shortly you will unlock more. Select a stage, and then you see how long you can last. Once you're actually playing, you have no control over your attacks. They fire all by themselves. But you control where your character moves. And depending on the weapons you have, how you move can be very important. Because every time your character levels up, you get to pick a new item. Items are either weapons themselves, or weapon modifiers. And each time playing, you can only take five of each. And there are combinations of weapons and weapon modifiers that will unlock super versions of each of the weapons. At least once the weapon is fully leveled up. Knife plus bracer, axe plus candelabra, etc. But not everything is available to you all at once. You start out with a fairly limited selection. Things are unlocked in a number of different ways, from getting new characters, completing achievements, or finding the items for the first time in a stage. And this game is all about unlocking things. You unlock new stages by getting to a certain level in a previous stage. You unlock characters through progression, but also through finding them in coffins. But if you do find a character in a coffin, you still have to pay gold to unlock them. You can also pay gold to unlock permanent bonuses. Meaning, the longer you play and the more gold you accumulate, the easier this game becomes. Not that it ever gets truly easy. No matter what combination of weapons you choose, things will always get very hectic towards the 15 minute mark of a stage. And eventually the stage will end as, sooner or later, the Grim Reaper shows up to insta-kill you. This game is very much simple to play, but difficult to master. And you'll find yourself really debating between the items you can choose at a level up. You have three, and sometimes four, options to choose from. And the game pauses while you choose. And in later levels, I found myself taking quite a while to decide between items. Do I want to take the item that gives me bonus experience? Or do I want another weapon? Which weapon modifier do I want? Will I find the item that turns super with it? And sometimes you don't get a say in what item you find. Boss enemies within stages drop treasure chests that give you gold. But there's also always an item in the treasure chest. And it might be an item you don't want. But you don't have a choice. So is Vampire Survivor worth your money? As it is only $5, I would say yes. Something about this game really compels you to play more. Even when I failed to unlock a new stage, I would start again and try to figure out which items would serve me better in this stage. Sometimes I would get items that I absolutely didn't want, but then I'd adjust how I was playing and I'd suddenly find these items very useful. Several times I started playing, saying, well, this'll be a quick little 20 minute time killer, and then I'd look at the clock and four hours had passed. It's very rare when a game can do that. And at a price of only $5, this game is absolutely worth your time and money. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.